Want to know a secret? Are the seats packed with the dead? Should I line you up and punch you down into the land of the dead? Well, do you want to know a secret? So polite. Oh, I mustn't talk in the theater. Curses for all the gods. I've gone and broken the fourth wall. But no bother. Your beloved real world is itself theater. You're used to pretend, used to believing what you want to believe. For the next 90 minutes, I will be telling you lies. And you will agree they are the truth. That's actually more or less what's printed on my business card. Hermes, messenger to the gods. Certified liar, founder and CEO of Olympic Scandal Magazine, inventor of gossip. I'll be handing these out after the show. Mercury keeps poaching my clients these days. Roman gods, pfft, cheap knockoffs. Bacchus is a cool guy. The rest, forgeries of our greatness. Except no substitutions. Now, as I was saying, do you want to hear a secret? Yes. I'm also the guide to the underworld. Hades, the old Greek soul closet. Little known fact about being dead. Death is very boring. Not much happens in Hades. It's just a lot of souls being dead in chairs. Being dead at breakfast, dead souls just wandering about. That's the gist of it. I mean, every four years we have our own Olympics, but we've yet to fully figure out soul physics. Archimedes is doing his best, but we're still no closer to finding the pole vaulters. They just went, you know, just gone. Quite floaty and dearly missed like spice ships at sea. So you must understand my interest was piqued when I discovered the underworld exploding with news, curiosity, intrigue. A mysterious young woman was coming so beautiful, so sad, so frightened. Yet those were not the qualities that drew the land of the dead to watch her every move. No, what moved them so was that this girl was alive. I have a tragic tale to tell. A story of three gods who conspired and fought over the fate of one lost girl. It's a story I've told before. Sometimes the maiden, Persephone, returns home, escapes from Hades unscathed, and sometimes the dark forces of the underworld prevail. Zeus, how does the story end? You just want me to skip everybody else's lines? Okay. <sighs> I was gonna say, I just. It's on nine? I only have. I was gonna say, I don't know. The next one. Or the next speech? Oh, okay. Let me find the next speech here. Which is in here somewhere. Hermes. There's a little speech. Oh, there it is. How are you not cold? It's, it's cold, very chilly, pretty nippy. It's, it's pretty nippy indeed, my friend. The big Z is not feeling chatty, I see. Could that be because I convinced you to marry off Demeter's daughter and now she's destroying life as we know it? Eh, probably it. I hate it when you're angry. Makes swans even more untrustworthy than they already are. Some people say that death has a twisted sense of humor. I assure you, death has no sense of humor. Speak of the Greek analog of the devil, and the Greek analog of the devil appears. Speak of the Greek analog of the devil, and the Greek analog of the devil appears. I would love to shut it, but I need clarification on which it I must shut to make you happy. There it is. I'm afraid this one's on me, darling. The big guy is peeved. Have you noticed that you've been getting a bit more boat traffic these days? You're about to run into some economies of scale issues. Demeter has frozen the world. You're about to be swimming in corpses. We're not. Not so much. Whoa, whoa. Introduced, not gave. I guess it depends on the culture and the era. And if one party is a nymph, and the other party, and the other party, the second most powerful god. And if one party is a nymph, and the other party, the second most powerful god, eh, I guess it depends on the culture and the era. I've always said that. I said that just earlier. You are great, but you're giving back your queen one way or another. Listen, let's 
calm tensions. The God economy has not been great. We're not in the shape to have a God war here. Let's be civil. Practice makes perfect. I suppose I'm left to deal with... I suppose I'm left to deal with this. But I also suppose this is more or less my fault. I'm having a me day.